Today we're going to be focusing on how to create a guitar body shape out of a uh, spread that uh, we've already created. So this spread came from our original inventor drawing for the guitarbuilding.org project. And so what we're going to do is we've taken this particular spread and we're going to make it into a guitar body. And so it's actually a pretty easy process for this to happen within the Fusion 360 environment. The first step that you have to do in Fusion 360 is you need to load the spread. So using the upload button I was able to upload not only the 2016 version but now the new 2018 version that's been cleaned up and optimized for Fusion. So that can be found on the guitarbuilding.org website. The second thing you need to do is move it from the sculpt version to the model because what we're going to be doing is working on 3D solid models, not sculpting surfaces to create the, uh, the shape. However, if you were doing a Les Paul style sculpting and experimenting uh, with three-dimensional uh, shape environments, it might be worthy. But initially, we're going to keep it really simple, keep it as a two-dimensional shape to cut out the uh, guitar body itself. So the actual uh, blank is roughly s between 15 and 16 wide, about 21 to 22 long, and that's a standard blank that we manufacture and, and uh, utilize for our design. The center area, the pockets, uh, have been pre-positioned specifically for our guitar body environment. So it is based on a 25 and a half inch scale length uh, for it to, to be created. So the process is we start with the model, we add a sketch to the surface because that's what we're going to do is sketch on the front surface here. And so at this point now um, using our wheel mouse and pressing and holding the wheel we can pan and if we roll the wheel we can magnify or demagnify. What we're going to do is we're going to create a series of lines or arcs or in my case splines I'm going to create. And so under the sketch we have the different drawing tools that we have available to us. So if you wanted to put a bunch of holes in here you could do that. Uh, circles, rectangles, arcs, polygons, lines which are linear uh, and uh, you can also do arcs uh, with the line command and then the spline tool which is what I'm going to use to create my design. So in this case I'm going to do a really basic design and a couple of things I'm going to point out as we go along and uh, they'll probably be covered on, a, on the advanced CNC, issue, uh, advanced CNC uh, video uh, when we get that uh, accomplished. But ultimately I'm going to start here at the front corner of the uh, neck pocket and we need to do some arm relief here so I'm going to go ahead and take this and oh did I just pick the line command? No, it is the spline. You have to pick the two points and then you're able to create the spline itself. Um, and so the spline can create or be created but I'm not liking what I'm seeing so I'm going to right mouse click and cancel what I'm working on. And so I'll go back choose the spline tool again and I might actually start down here, but it, I like starting at this corner. So I'm going to actually create a um, short distance here. And this is basically a uh, hand relief. And we're going to create some weird, bizarre shape here. Oh, it's kind of looking like a Hoffner, but we're going to throw some other weird stuff in here too. Only because we can do this. And again, can't work outside the block. Um, that's the that's the guitar spread that we are going to be cutting it out from, so we can't work outside that shape. Alright, so I've 
now reconnected it back at the other side of the neck pocket. I'm going to right mouse click and choose OK. At this point, I've got all my grab points and arc points, so I can actually grab and manipulate the, um, the shape uh, to the exact shape that I was looking for. And I can make some really wonky looking shape here um, that looks very guitar-like here but then it gets pretty funky down here. Okay, so I have created a pretty interesting shape for a guitar body. But again, it's your guitar body, it's your design. And that's the key. Which gives us the uh, basis to see the three-dimensional uh, shape. We're then going to use the Create button. So again, splined. All I did was create the splines. If it was arcs and lines and and so forth, as long as they all connect, we'll be able to use the create button. And I'm going to highlight the outer surface. The outer surface is saying, okay, it's a push pull. So in this case, the arrow, I need to push it and cut it back through the object. And again, I can also set this in the dialog box to say to the next surface and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and choose OK. And you can see I just cut out my guitar body shape. And so creating the guitar body was that simple. You know, we now have a three dimensional guitar body shape. Uh, we could then put our bean plate pocket in here uh, for our electronics uh, positioning. But that is. How simple it is and if you were to go through and do the bean plate for the guitar uh, pocket all you would do is create a new sketch in the back on the back surface we'd go ahead and sketch out in this case we're going to go ahead and use a series of lines now remember we're working on the back of the guitar so this is the um, technically quote unquote the treble side of the guitar and that's the bass side and so I'm going to create a uh, pocket here and and we can create something fairly s rectangular square and then I know it's all about access so maybe I'll create a trapezoid style shape and then I can actually come in here and add some fillets if I do the fillet command um, what we can do is select the fillets and it gives us the fillets in this case in millimeters so I'm doing 11 millimeter fillets and so we've now rounded those edges and so I can cut that part in but before I do, well I'll cut this part in but you're wondering, well, how far do I have to cut it? Well, one of the nice things is that model that we're able to work with. And that production model, uh, this drawing gives us all the key dimensions that we're working with. So, for example, I need to make sure that my pocket depth is about 1.55 inches deep and that the uh, bean plate recess is 0.14. So we can, from this particular drawing, again available on guitarbuilding.org, because uh, that's one of our production drawings, we can create that. So now we need to uh, take and recess this or create it. And I'll select this surface. And we're going to go uh, basically 1.55. Millimeters, excuse me, inches. So about 39 to 40 uh, units. So we're going to go ahead and do about 39 units. 39 and 0.5. So we can see if we look on the right hand side how deep it is. So it doesn't go all the way through, it stops, uh, but basically 1.55 inches times 25.4 gets us our distance in millimeters that we're working with here. Could we change this and put the units in inches? Absolutely. 
Uh, that's one of the setup items that you can do within the Fusion environment. So there's our pocket. We'll go ahead and choose OK. And so that pocket is actually on the back. So we've created that pocket. But we also need to put a recess on this pocket so that way our bean plate cover will fit. So and again, we're going to go ahead and create a sketch on that surface. And this time I need to offset that distance. And so there is a tool called Offset. And what I want to do is grab this edge and offset it. So I'm going to grab it and then I'm going to drag it and offset it. Uh, the offset distance right now uh, 6.3 is about a quarter inch which is pretty good. Uh, you can recreate another sketch out here if you wanted to. I could also sketch this out a little bit wider to make sure that I've got enough room for uh, the screw. Uh, fasteners that we're going to need to put in on the bean plate to hold it. So I'm going to go about 10 millimeters. Uh, so 10.0 millimeters. And we'll choose OK. And now, uh, again, I'm going to need to make this about 0.14 deep, which is 3.55 millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and choose Create, highlight that surface, and rotate it around just a little bit so we can see what's going on. Move this back in, negative 3.55, and it's just over an eighth of an inch, and we'll choose OK. And so now we've actually made our bean plate hole and our recess cover plate position. So again, uh, not that difficult to actually work in Fusion 360 to create the ultimate guitar body shape and then coming back in and making your custom bean plate for the back or the custom bean pocket for the back. So I wanted to wrap up the loose thread of how to change from inches to millimeters or millimeters to inches. Under the document settings we hit the little arrow we can change our units um, from millimeters to inches. And so now our object is working within the inch environment. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure that we do is save our work. So we open it up. I always use the Save As. And this is going to save into my Fusion 360 folder or I can save it out on my... Uh, I can then export it out to my local hard drive. So we're going to make this one um, make this Fusion Video Demo Guitar Body. And I can make this available uh, out on guitarbuilding.org if uh, people would like it. We're going to go ahead and save it. Perfect. The last thing about Fusion I wanted to mention is that if you ever get stuck, right mouse click. In the right mouse click will appear, if, for example, I just right mouse clicked in the space, I can do the last couple of things that I've been working on, press and pull. If you wanted to create a hole, it's there, add a sketch, physical material changes, um, create and modify. So basically everything that's on the menu up here across the top, you can grab by just right mouse clicking. If you're on the object, you will get a different uh, right mouse click menu. So in this case it's already highlighted a surface and one of the interesting things that I wanted to, to mention is that if you create a sculpted body, okay, we talked about a sculpted body early on, which is just a shell, kind of like the hollow Easter Bunny for uh, the hollow chocolate Easter Bunny at Easter as opposed to the solid one. Well you can actually take and thicken the hollow Easter Bunny into a solid chocolate Easter Bunny. So you can actually thicken a surfaced model into a 3D solid model which allows you then to create the cam, uh, tool paths and so forth for your creation. Very cool capability. The command is called thicken. Uh, you'll see it pop up uh, when you need it. 
uh, let's see here if I can find it on the drop down boom thicken it allows you to take surface and faces and make them solid fantastic capability not available in like inventor uh, it's it's in Fusion 360 but it's not an inventor to, to really thicken well so it's a cool feature wanted to make sure I pointed that out have a great day Thank you.